there's an interesting story there. When we came back from shooting in uh, uh, the Grand Tetons, we started looking for a narrator. And um, we auditioned everybody in town who does that kind of work professionally. And they were all too professional. And at one point, Fielder Cook said, um, what we need is somebody who sounds as homespun and corny as Earl. So he said, Re read this paragraph. So I read a, par a paragraph from the end in which uh, I s it was something about uh, my father had been dead now, but my mother still lived alone in the same house. But we were still a close family and we saw each other when we could. And when we did, it was, uh, it was a wonderful thing. And uh, I looked over to Fielder, and there were tears coming down his face. And he said, you son of a bitch, you made me cry. And he said, you've got the job. So suddenly, I uh, had to be, be belong, join SAG. I got paid. It was wonderful. It, it also was nice because it gave me a certain uh, input and output because I did opening narration and closing narration. And I, I could uh, manipulate feelings uh, uh, or put a tag on a story. It, it, was a, it was a nice advantage for a writer to have, to be able to say once upon a time and then the end, and we lived happily ever after. Has that brought you a certain level of celebrity? A uh, little bit, but just the right kind of celebrity. I, I don't know, in, in London once, uh, a, uh, a, a shop lady said, why is your voice familiar? And I suggested why, and uh, she, she agreed that that was where she'd heard. As a matter of fact, we, I've had some evidence of the popularity of the show all over the world. I know we were once in Vienna, and I was interviewed by a Vietnamese, Viennese journalist who said he wanted to see why the, the show was so popular in Germany. And uh, he asked a group of children where they thought Walton's Mountain was. And they said, oh, it's in the, in the uh, Vienna woods. And uh, I know we were once in a boat in Greece. And someone said, you better come in the library. And I went in the library. And there was a television set and grandma speaking Greek. And another time we were in, in uh, a B&B &B in Ireland. And we were about to go to bed. And the innkeeper came up and knocked on the door and said, would you settle an argument? And I said, I'd try. And he said, uh, some people saw your name on the guest book and think that you are an, you're a Walton. And I admitted that I was. And so I was, I was never uh, that kind of celebrity, like real celebrities, but people knew my name and a few knew my voice. And it, was, it was fun, very gratifying.